Hey guys, this is Vanessa and welcome back to yet another video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm having a wonderful day. So today we're gonna go over a really quick tip on how to get the perfect angle while creating a portrait. Welcome back. So truth be told, there is no perfect angle. One angle that could be perfect for one subject could be a terrible angle for another subject. While I'm on the scene and I'm creating an image, I get so excited by what I'm seeing behind my camera. Sometimes I just lose sight of the fact that that may not necessarily be the perfect image. It's not until when I get behind the computer and I'm looking at the image, I want to kick myself because it's just not the right shot. So how do I combat this issue? There's five things that I apply on a photo shoot with respect to getting the perfect angle for a particular shot. So here are the five steps. Number one, I get a straight on shot of every subject that I photograph. Now, for the most part, this works on most subjects, but there are certain subjects that this doesn't work on. And sometimes you don't notice this when you're creating the portrait. So for example, if someone have a crooked nose, you may not necessarily notice that when you're talking to them on the scene, but when you come back and you're looking at that image um, on your computer, you would definitely notice it. But for the most part, getting a straight on shot of your subject works perfectly. Number two, what I also try to do is get a side shot of the subject or a profile shot of the subject. Now, this would be perfect for subjects that do have that crooked nose. Getting a side shot just gives you a different perspective of that particular subject, but it also could have another impact. If that person have a very pronounced nose, you would definitely notice it in a profile shot. So having a straight on shot and a side shot definitely gives you um, two angles that you could use depending on whatever the situation is with respect to the person's face. Number three, I also try to get a shot from down below. Now this type of shot is also known as the hero shot. This type of shot is great for folks that are vertically challenged. It can make folks appear taller than they really are. Number four, I also try to get a shot from above. Now these types of shots is not great for everyone, especially if folks are bold and stuff like that. You don't want to get a shot from above, but it could be great for folks that are a little bit of heavy set because it will bring the attention or focus the attention on the subject's face as opposed to anywhere else. So these types of shots are great for that. Number five, changing my focal length. Now this is a great option to use, especially like if you have like a 70 to 200 lens, you could easily change your focal length utilizing one lens. It allows you to get tight, middle, wide shots. This is a great lens for that. Having a variety of images to choose from really allows me to zero in and choose the perfect angle. While I was in New York, I was able to utilize these same exact techniques that really help to shape and guide me while I was there to create the portraits that you're about to see on the screen. I got some shots from above, I got some shots from below, I got some straight on shots. I really got a variety of shots from this session that I was able to come back and post and choose the ones that would work for me. So now we're gonna jump straight into this photo shoot from New York. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Put some comments down below. Let me know what you think. 